The incident has shocked both Hollywood and the public, exposing a less-than-royal side to the Duchess of Sussex and calling into question her transition from British nobility to American celebrity. Multiple witnesses and sources provide concerning details about exactly what went down to trigger Meghan's televised meltdown. Veteran ET journalist Clayton Davis had been conducting routine interviews with arrivals when things took an unprecedented turn. As he ready to speak with Meghan and Prince Harry, the Duchess publicist pulled Davis aside and propositioned him with an unexpected offer. She pulled an envelope from her clutch claiming Meghan wanted to ensure a friendly chat, Davis recounted. Inside was a stack of $100 bills allegedly totaling $2 million upon acceptance of one condition, that Davis only ask flattering questions and omit any negative press around Meghan. Naturally, the respected entertainment reporter declined the improper terms at once. As a journalist, my integrity is most important and I don't participate in anything unethical, he firmly stated. This refusal to be bought would prove to be the catalyst sparking Meghan's temper. When Davis went ahead with standard inquiries upon the Sussexes reaching his position, that's when eyewitnesses say the Duchess suddenly lost all composure. She started ranting at Davis in front of cameras, arms waving as she shouted wild accusations, one onlooker revealed. Among the heated claims hurled were that Davis was unprofessional and dishonest after reportedly turning down the sizable bribe. In a shocking display unbecoming of royalty, Meghan was seen screaming that his career in Hollywood would now be finished since he didn't take the money when offered. At that point, security intervened to remove the clearly irate Meghan before the commotion spiraled further out of control on live national television. The explosive confrontation played out for millions to witness, sparking stunned and divided reactions across both countries. Many industry figures have since weighed in on the damning ordeal. When questioned by press, Zendaya expressed dismay but affirmed her faith in Davis's character. While emotions clearly ran high, unsubstantiated outbursts solved nothing and damaged reputations, the Emmy winner sagely noted. Fellow nominee Brett Goldstein bluntly stated, If someone truly believed money could influence coverage that speaks volumes about their mindset and ethics. Veteran actress Jennifer Coolidge saw both the dramatic escapade and need for autonomous reporting free of outside pressures. As disturbing clips and allegations spread rapidly online, questions are looming over what these unsavory antics say about Meghan since marrying Prince Harry and leaving for America last year. Some royal experts claim their actions suggest aspirations towards fame and fortune don't align with dignified duties as working royals. Traditionalist onlookers strongly condemn such uncouth behavior from a royal figurehead expected to conduct with grace under pressure. Others counter that even public figures deserve leniency for rare missteps when pushed to the brink by unrelenting media circus. But for many, damage has been done to her carefully crafted persona. In the aftermath, Meghan and Harry noticeably lay low and dodged outlets after nearly hijacking a gala meant to pay homage to TV brilliance. The couple has yet to directly address or apologize for the disturbing night that inserted them into unwanted tabloid scandal. Their controversial moves have long divided opinions across the pond as the Sussexes navigate independence within Hollywood's glitzy realm. But tonight's unacceptable display on such a significant stage has crossed a line for some, reigniting calls that royalty distance from aspiring celebrity antics. As focus returns to celebrating deserving Emmy nominees, question lingers if Markle may face fallout in Tinseltown for actions reeking of entitlement rather than nobility. Only the coming days will reveal how she and husband Harry maneuver to mitigate this PR nightmare and regain credibility if possible, after such a debacle marred what was billed as their prestigious red carpet debut in California high society.